Brett, who is your garbage person of the week? My garbage people of the week are the guys in this image. Let's put up this graphic really quick. I want to introduce you to the worst people doing the worst stuff. This is their show. This is their identity. I present to you Jack Pansberg from the thing where they do interviews with people, Project Veritas, which ironically is means Project Truth. Yeah. It just it's the show he does with Charlie Kirk. Everything about this is horrible. It just says gay Star Wars under them. Three guys who are basically the same dude with different amounts and styles of hair are arguing with each other above an email that just says freedom at charliekirk.com. <laughs> and they say that thought crime is the name of their show. Well, it looks like they're in the clear because there is absolutely no thought behind what they're about to say. Quite frankly, like I'm just not even interested in letting them see any of them. I think we have like a baby Yoda somewhere in our house. But I was never obsessed with Star Wars, so I never even cared. Like I I, I don't even see it as like a, a threat. And maybe I should be a little more alert. I don't even care, he said as he went to solo. I, I like solo. <laughs> I like solo. solo. I mean listen, solo there's only so much good. Yeah, Solo was good. The movie that revealed nice that. Nice white American lead, right? In that lead. The, the, <laughs> Which is like, not that I would notice, other than the fact that every other single movie of the Jedi, or like from Jedis or whatever, everything since, I don't know, last 15 years, they've very distinctly the not has like done a white, a white American lead. No, like no. A white American male. And and by the way, with like some swagger, with like some testosterone to him as the lead, that was the only one was Solo. And it's kind of interesting how that's the one that's been sort of like written out of, you know, the story. Yeah, I, I find it noticeable. What are you talking about? Solo was written out of the story because people didn't like it because it wasn't good. For all the woke Star Wars you're talking about, like people genuinely didn't like the one with the masculine dude. And I like, um, what's his name, Aiden Ehrenreich. But if you think that Aiden Ehrenreich is the apotheosis <laughs> of like masculinity, then you really put the Reich in Ehrenreich. The video will continue in just a moment. But first, I have a message for you. TYT needs your help. Membership is vital to survival. So please go to tyt.com slash team and become a member today. You weird but Nazi cows. Is Adam Driver not American? I honestly oh don't know, but is he not American? Oh yeah, so Adam Driver is the- Was he a Marine? Adam Driver is testosterone. He is like insanely yoked and very intense. Is that not enough for them? Have you seen his, let's let's put it in terms, you weird eugenic Nazis, you know, phrenologist Nazis can understand. Look at his bone structure. Man's got <laughs> big Neanderthal- you know, that's eyeball important to them. sockets or whatever you guys think. And a, to a small thing in the back. That is, he's very strong. These are the guys that are like, listen, I was shocked to discover that Oscar Isaacs is Latino. <gasps> no. and, I, and like for someone who's not obsessed with the franchise, I hate like, they're like, oh God, I you have to figure that out by like Googling it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like, but also look at the movies. I have two movie posters next to each other. The same characters, literally the same actors, are in the same. Let's look at graphic two. Are this are in the freaking movie? Like Han Solo is in both movies. There, there's a a very white uh, person is the is the lead. Ray, I would say, is far more like badass than Luke Skywalker. Love me some Luke Skywalker, but he was complaining about how he wanted to go to Tashi Station to pick up some power converters. Mm -hmm. Like the whole thing is he's a boy that needs to learn how to be a man. Ray is already badass from the get go, which they hate. They, they hate it. They they're so, like and these are the guys that are trying to convince you that they're the alpha dogs out there. And all they do is complain and That's say, fine. like, Star Wars gay. Yeah, uh, by the way, I'd also say like, oh, why does Ray already know how to fight with a stick? And why can she already fly the Millennium Falcon? Hold on, uh, he mastered, Luke masters the lightsaber like instantaneously. And he literally does the trench run like three hours after leaving Mos Eisley. Like, so in terms of Mary Sue's and all that, there's always been a lot of that in Star Wars. Also, um, like, by the way, they're samurais. 
Be grateful that anyone's white. Yeah, that's an they're stealing from Japan, weirdos. They're all complaining about the fact that there are some women who might be lesbians and acolyte. That's what well, I mean, look, what they hate, what those guys hate is not gay Star Wars. What they hate is reality. Because in reality, there are lesbians. They exist. They have always existed. You cannot thought crime them out of existence. They just don't want to be reminded that reality is not exactly like they want. And in in attacking reality, they're also lying. So they're they're at least admitting explicitly, I want a white American male because for them, identity politics is the only thing that matters. They want to see their identity on the screen. Well, not exactly their identity. They want to see something masculine on the screen. But other than that, it's similar to them. But the issue really fast. They're saying they want swagger and they want masculinity. No, 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 they're already getting that. What bothers them is that it doesn't look like them if they worked out. I'm not gonna speak for all of the world's women or whatever, but I think women like Oscar Isaac. I think they think he has swagger and masculinity. I think they like John Boyega. I think they like Pedro Pascal and Adam Driver. I think they find plenty of these men masculine. They don't just necessarily look like those hosts. And that's what bothers them. Not that Star Wars has changed or whatever, but that they aren't the only ones being featured in every frame of everything they see on TV. Right. And they desire segregation. That's what they need. They're embodying the argument that they hate, they say, because they're mad that other people want to see themselves in the movies, but they're mad that they don't see themselves in the movies. Like, what? You realize you're doing the same thing you think is dumb. Well, it's not the exact same thing because other racial groups or, you know, religious groups or whatever are wrong to want to see themselves on screen a little bit. They are right to want to see themselves on screen every single second of everything that's on the screen. So it's not even hypocrisy, it's worse than that. But anyway, yeah, it's just it's it's utterly pathetic. And again, oh sorry, did is there are they doing something politically incorrect according to you that they're putting a lesbian couple on screen or whatever? Again, these people are perpetuating a 24/7 desperate try hard Cancel culture. That's all it is. Cancel every show that doesn't feature someone who looks like them if they ate better and exercised occasionally. <music> Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen, and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.